my name is Laurie Bell. I'm a project coordinator at the Social Science Research Center at Mississippi State University. I am thrilled to get to talk about the Children's Foundation of Mississippi. I've had the privilege of being involved with it since its very beginning. I remember when it was just an idea that Linda Southard used to talk about occasionally. Eventually it became a planning grant and a project and then a full-fledged foundation. Now I get to interact with the Children's Foundation through my work at the Social Science Research Center on the Kids Count team. The Kids Count team is, um, is now, its work is now funded from the Children's Foundation from a grant from the Annie Casey Foundation. We develop um, products that promote the data and well-being uh, about children in Mississippi that the Children's Foundation can then take and share with decision makers and policy makers. In particular, I work with the effort to put together the legislative countdown calendar, which we put out every January, and the Children's Foundation is putting it on the desk of each legislator at the Capitol. And each day they can have a different fact about children in Mississippi that hopefully will promote thoughtful decision making. Being a part of the startup of the foundation and then now working alongside of it has been absolutely fascinating. It's been fascinating to watch how they have so strategically put the, their goals and their um, efforts in place. And they've had such accomplishments in just a short amount of time. I think thing, one thing that impresses me is the way they've gone about identifying and naming the needs and gaps in the care of systems in Mississippi that affect children. They've done this through um, initiating surveys like the Survey of Mississippi Issues Impacting Children and participating in surveys like the COVID-19 Household Pulse Survey and the Untapped Potential Survey that looks at how child care affects the state's economy. They've used these surveys to inform um, and, and name gaps and needs within the state around child well-being. And then now they move in, they're moving on and putting reports out like the Kids Count and Risk and Reach Report, which is about to come out. It's, um, it's just been fascinating to see how that was like the first step to identify where their work needed to be concentrated. And so now they're strategically bringing together stakeholders and creating a blueprint for child well-being in Mississippi. With the identification of these needs and the development of a plan to address them, I feel like the foundation is working towards its goal of making sure Mississippi children and youth are getting off to a stronger start. In doing so, this is setting the stage for a better Mississippi for tomorrow, and I cannot wait to see what work the foundation is going to do in the future to make Mississippi a better place for all children.